without stripes and birth gave proof through... 70 years since that memorable event, almost to the minute, the United States finally takes the next step, a step awaited, voted upon, litigated, and prayed for for all these years. Today, we opened the United States Embassy in Jerusalem, Israel. Jerusalem is the seat of Israel's government. It is the home of the Israeli legislature and the Israeli Supreme Court and Israel's prime minister and president. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right, like every other sovereign nation, to determine its own capital. Yet, for many years, we failed to acknowledge the obvious, the plain reality that Israel's capital is Jerusalem. As he sat next to her in Ford's theater. The United States will always be a great friend of Israel and a partner in the cause of freedom and peace. We wish Ambassador Friedman good luck as he takes up his office in this beautiful Jerusalem embassy, and we extend a hand in friendship to Israel, the Palestinians, and to all of their neighbors. May there be peace. May God bless this embassy. May God bless all who serve there. And may God bless the United States of America. What a glorious day. Remember this moment. This is history. President Trump, by recognizing history, you have made history. In 1995, the Jerusalem Embassy... I have a special privilege. You are privileged to become the first American ambassador to serve your country in Jerusalem. And this is a distinct honor that will be yours forever. Nobody can be first again. Thank you, David. Spread the truth far and wide, and may the truth advance a lasting peace between Israel and all our neighbors. God bless the United States of America, and God bless Jerusalem, the eternal, undivided capital of Israel.